What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a countdown timer in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 up and this is the horror movie short film I made uh, for Halloween. And what we're going to do first of all is right click and insert a video track so it's above your current video. The next thing you need to do which is super important, how long do you want the timer to stay on for? For example this video, if I come to the end, is 2 minutes and 47 seconds. So you need to remember that and it's very important you do. The next thing we're going to do is head over to media generators. From there we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to select legacy text. If you do not see this then you can come to view windows layout and select default layout. Now from legacy text just drag on one with the transparent background which is one of these and we're going to drag and drop it. And now remember when I told you to remember the duration this is why. As you can see over here it says 2 minutes 47. As you can see for the duration on the text, it says 10 seconds. So we're completely off. So we're going to change this to 0 0.2, 47, and then 10, like this. And next thing we're going to do is remove the text, and then we can X out for this. So if we drag this all the way up now, it's even going to snap right there, which is 2 minutes and 47, 10. Now, the next thing we're going to do is actually add the time run. First of all, we're going to right click the track and we're going to select media effects. Now from here, this is what you should get. And what we're looking for is Vegas time code. So just select it, select add and OK. Now, this is what you'll be presented with. And as you can see on the video already, it already shows the time. At the top here, it says time code format. If we select this, you can choose how you want it. So you can have time and frames, seconds and time. Probably the most used ones that people want to use it for. What I'm going to use for this is time and I'm going to leave it exactly how it is and I'm just going to X out of it. So if we play this through, as you can see, the time is going up and it's going to keep going up until it gets to the end. Like that and it's just going to stop. So how do we reverse it? Well, we're going to use velocity. We're going to right click and then we're going to select insert, remove envelope and select velocity. Now this green bar you'll see and just drag it all the way down. Now as you'll see, 2 minutes 47 has, is right at the start and if we come near the end, it's counted down like that all the way. So if we just play it from the beginning, as you can see, it's going to be counting down. Now there's also a black bar there, how do we get rid of that? Well if you come over to your track and select this button and then select add, as you can see, the black bar is now gone. So it's just the text with no black bars. Another important thing, as you can see, our video was only two minutes and 47, and we have this zero zero here, which is for hours, but we don't really need it. So how do we get rid of that? We're gonna come to the event pattern crop for this. We're gonna actually select mask. We're gonna zoom in to the part, and this actually takes a bit of guessing. We're just gonna highlight the area where we think it is, as you can see I'm pretty close already and then we're just going to come to the side and chop it off like that. Be careful you don't chop off your zero uh, so make sure there we go and if we play this through now as you can see we don't have them extra numbers there on the side and we can also do the exact same if we want to get rid of the milliseconds on the side as well so come back to the event pen and crop, come back to mask and I'm just going to position this here Right click, select and select all and then we're just going to drag this to the left from the right. Like that. And now, there's a dot there. Now, we just have the seconds, or the minute, and the seconds like that. And that is how easy it is to make a timer in Sony Vegas or Vegas Pro 14. As you can see. Just like that it is done. That's it for this video like I mentioned at the start, if you like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.